Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS Experience for Wednesday, December 15th, 10 game slate. Hope you had a tremendous Valentine's Day. We're going to start with DraftKings. We're going to start with Luka Magic, 11.7K. I don't know why he's 11.7K, but he's 11.7K. For me, that's a pass. He's trying to, Like I said, he's trying to incorporate Kyrie. That means he's not going to take 50 million shots. You know, he's not going to have a 50-point triple-double. So what am I going to do with 11.7K? I need 60 fantasy points out of him. But if I want 60 fantasy points out of Luka, that means I really want more than 60 fantasy points out of Luka, because at 11.7K, 60 fantasy points is almost about five times value. Who the fuck's looking for five times value in today's day and age? We're looking for six, seven, eight times value. So Luka is a pass for me. John Morant, 10.6K, fire him up. SGA, 10.5K against Houston. He looks mighty scrumptious. Pause. LaMelo Ball, 10.4K. Listen, the, the Charlotte, Charlotte starting lineup looked amazing against San Antonio. They look amazing. Fire up everyone on Charlotte that starts. Kyrie, 10.1K. You can get to him. Harden, 9.8K. He looks better with no MB, but it's going to be a tough matchup. And I'm not playing anyone against Cleveland. Cleveland just slows down the pace, slows down the fantasy rates. I'm good with Cleveland. Fuck that. Uh, where are we? Trey Young, 9.6K. Great matchup against the Knicks. Fire him up. 9.6K, a little too cheap. Halliburton, 9.5K. Fire him up. Donovan Mitchell, you want to take a shot on Donovan Mitchell and you're playing a lot of lineups, then guess what? Fire him up. Um, Brunson's in play 86. DeJounte Murray, you could take a shot 8.4. Jamal Murray's in play. Garland's in play. Giddy. Giddy's in play at 7. All these point guards are in play. Um, Rozier's in play. McCullum, McCullum looks great if he plays against the Lakers. Um, Rozier. Against against San Antonio. Listen, if you wanted to play three, four Charlotte Hornets, have at it. They're going to give up a lot of points real quick. Dinwiddie, 7.4. I don't need. Derek White again is in play against um Detroit. He's absolutely in play. Jordan Clarkson's fine at 6.9K. Jalen Green, 6.8K against OKC. I'll definitely put him in a SGA lineup. As far as um, having having a run back um, or bring back or whatever the fuck you guys call it. Um, D'Angelo Russell, 6.8K. I don't think I need him on this slate, but he's in the player pool. Marcus Smart. If Marcus Smart comes back, all he does is um, fuck up what we're trying to do with Derek White and Brogdon and all those guys. Because there's, there's going to be no Tatum and no Brown, I believe. So we want Marcus Smart to stay out so we can play White, Brogdon. Um, yeah, you know, so whatever, but if Mark, if smart plays and if smart is playing his regular load, then he's fine. Nothing spectacular. Jaden Ivy 5.7 K. He's fine. Sexton's in play 5.6 K. Maxi. I, I only like Maxi if there's no one B. Simmons, no Simmons for us. Bruce Brown. If he starts, if there's no Jamal Murray. Schroeder, only if there's no Braun, but last I read, Braun was on track to play, so you don't need Schroeder. Quickly, eh, if you want to take a shot, take a shot. Vincent, if he started for some reason. Killian Hayes, if you're playing a lot of lineups. Branham, if you... I don't know, man. Listen, I, I can't fuck with these Spurs. I can't fuck with these Spurs. Branham, last five games, 32 minutes, 29, 43, 28, 29. Fantasy points, 28, 16, 40, 20, and 26. He's all over the place. Um, I don't know. I mean, if he starts, he's getting the shots. He's only 4,600. So if he starts, he could take a shot. Why not? Um, the sum no, the, I don't need the sum no. If he starts, he's fine, but you, you still got, I think the Rosen is going to be out. So if the sum no starts, you could probably take a shot. But he's very, very, very volatile. Um, he's very volatile. Payton Pritchard, if there's no Marcus Smart, you could take a shot. If there's no McCollum, you could take a shot on Alvarado against the Lakers. And I think that's about it. Let's go to shooting guard. Uh, 
Levine, 8.5. He's fine. Ingram's in play against the Lakers. Desmond Bain, 7.1. He's fine. He's in play. Mikael Bridges, you could take a shot, 6,200. A lot of wings on that team. Josh Hart, 5,700. I prefer him to start. Cam Thomas, his price is going, getting back to normal. Let's see what he did in the last game. 20 minutes, yeah. Yeah, well, he doesn't seem to be as important anymore, so we'll just pass on that. Struess, you could take a shot if he starts. Matherin, you could take a shot at 4.8K. Hauser, if he starts, you could take a shot. I'm not interested in Curry. I'm not interested in Levert. Caldwell Pope, you could take a shot. Beasley, you could take a shot. THT, you could take a shot. Devontae Graham, you could Devontae Graham, you could take a shot. Um, the rest of these guys I don't really need. There's so many guys that are um in the 4K range that you really don't need to jump out the window with the value. Plus you'll get more value later on, so just be patient. Um I know I keep saying that, but you know, we do get new viewers, so you know, if you're new to DFS and you're, like, impatient for value, just take a deep breath, make a make a dummy lineup, and then, you know, a couple hours before a lot, value will present itself. No sweat. Just be patient. Lori Mark, well, hold on. Let me back up. Bron Bron, 10.8K. He should play. If he plays, fire him up. Mark in 9.1K. He's fine against Memphis. Levine gets a bump with no DeRozan, Kelvin Johnson. If you want to take a shot, you want to play a couple of Charlotte guys and then run it back with Kelvin Johnson and pray that they keep it close, you can. But I think that's very risky. Yes, San Antonio gives zero fucks about winning. Buddy Heal, 6.4K in play. Michael Porter Jr. is in play. Jalen Williams um, from OKC at small forward, 6K. He's fine. RJ Barrett, you can take a shot, 6K. Gordon Hayward, in this scenario, I like him. Um, KJ Martin, if he starts, you could take a shot. DeAndre Hunter, if he plays, he's, he's in play. To, uh, Tobias Harris is, is non-existent. City Bay, I don't need. Cam Johnson, you could take a shot. Trey Murphy, you could take a shot against the Lakers. Josh Green, 4.8K, you could take a shot. Patrick Williams, with no DeMar DeRozan, 4.7, is in play. Lou Dort, 4.6K, you could take a shot. Grant Williams is in play if he starts. Caleb Martin is in play. Dylan Brooks is not good, but he's in play. It's a lot. Um, Can Car, if he started for some weird reason, you could take a shot on Can Car. Um, the rest of these guys are not really. Jason Tate, 3.6K, he's going to start. You could take a shot. A lot of value out here today. i never seen a slate with so much value, but. Whoop, there it is. Um, Randall, 9.9K in play. Marketing, we just spoke about marketing. Uh, Butler's in play, 8.8K against Brooklyn. Evan Mobley, been playing very well, 7.5K, fire him up. Christian Wood, we don't need. Jaron Jackson Jr. is in play. Aaron Gordon, 7.1K is in play. Bojan Bogdanovich, 6.2K, always in play. P.J. Washington looks great against the Spurs, fire him up. Jalen Williams, we spoke about him. Jabari Smith Jr., 5.3K. You could take a shot. John Collins, 5.3K. Questionable. If he starts and he gets his full run, you could take a shot. Um, last five games, 28 minutes, 30, 30, 31, and 31 minutes. Fantasy points, 21, 17, 28, 20, and 32. Um, he's very risky, man. He's very risky. We don't need him on the slate. Isaiah Stewart's in play, 5.2K. Kelly Olenek's in play. Larry Nance is in play. Herbert Jones is in play. Hachimura is in play if LeBron doesn't play. But he's not that spectacular. Brandon Clark, if you wanted to take a shot. And let's see what the fuck is going on with Jericho Sims. The fuck is going on, on my computer? How about that? All right. Um, last five games: 22, 35, 23, 23, and 24. 
21, 23, 6, 18 to 10. Man, get this guy the fuck out of here, please. Fucking big for nothing, you fucking goofball. How the fuck are you so big? How the fuck are you seven feet? You jump, you, you, you have a fucking 10 foot vertical, and you're giving us fucking two fantasy points. What the fuck is going on? What a time to be alive. All right, let's go to center. Jericho fucking Sims. Oh, give me a break. All right. Jokic, 11.8K, absolutely in play. And B, 11.3K, they're going to definitely need him against Cleveland, so they better hope he plays AD against the Pelicans. Pelicans always, always play the Lakers um, well, so you can load up against the Lakers. And if you want to run it back with AD, you can. Randall's in play. We spoke about that. Out of Bayer, 9.3. Vooch, 9.2. And Rosen absolutely in play. Sangoon against OKC, 7.08K. Absolutely in play. Miles Turner, 7.3K. If he doesn't play, just play Isaiah Jackson. I know it's scary to play Isaiah Jackson when he doesn't start, but pff, the guy has tremendous upside. You know that. Jared Allen in play. Claxton's in play. Bobby Williams. Robert fucking Williams. Robert fucking Williams. You know... Today or last night, depending on when you're watching this video, I said to myself, no Tatum, no Al Horford. This is a smash spot. But knowing that he was questionable all day or, or, or probable, I said to myself, something doesn't feel right. Like, you know, he's a smash spot, but something still doesn't feel right. And I went ahead and put him in my, in my main lineups only to get a Twitter alert eight minutes before lock that he wasn't playing. So I had to fucking scramble and get him out of there. But, you know, you should always go with your gut. So being that he wasn't able to play last night or on the 14th, but he's ready to go full steam ahead on the 15th, I think not. Fuck that. So unless I get some real concrete news that Robert Williams is 100% ready to fucking play basketball, then he could go to hell. Okay, so... Robert Williams will put on ice for now. Capella's in play. Walker Kessler's in play. Valen Junis, Jalen Duran, Mark Williams, all in play. Zach Collins, 5,100, you could take a shot as long as he starts. Xavier Tillman, you could take a shot, 4,200, as long as he starts. We have all these value centers. You think I'm going to sit here and lose sleep over Robert fucking Will Bobby fucking Williams? He too can get the he could get his injury prone ass the fuck out of here. The fuck at fucking up people's life. I was in one contest. He was 15% on. What a fucking goofball. All right. So that's DraftKings. Let's get five guys and let's get going. I'm absolutely playing two centers again. You know, I love playing two centers. Um, Now, the other time I recommended Jalen to run against the Spurs. Let's pull up what he did. And I'm doing this for a reason. So I recommended Jalen Duran on this on the tenth against the Spurs. He did play forty two minutes, so that has something to do with it. Seven four seventeen well, hold on. Thirty point seventeen rebounds, three assists, four blocks, one steal, right? I said I'm saying all that to say this. Mark Williams against the Spurs, I like a lot. So I'm targeting the Spurs in the paint, and that's all that is. Now, I'm going to go to Utility. I'm going to pick up another center. Maybe Jalen Duran. Maybe Capella. Maybe Walker Kessler. Maybe Valanciunas. They might need Valanciunas against um, AD. There's a lot to choose from. Jalen Duran against a hobbled Bobby Williams. Jalen Duran against who? Who the fuck on Boston is going to slow down Jalen Duran or keep him out the paint? All right, let's go Valen Junis for now. We can always switch to we can always switch to Jalen Duran, no problem. Um, all right, we got Mark Williams, we got Valen Junis. I think Brandon Ingram is gonna have a strong game against the Lakers. You know, some some of these guys really just play very well against the Lakers. Is he a shooting guard? He's a shooting guard. I know. I knew that. So we got Brandon Ingram at eight point two k. Um, let's get a Charlotte Hornet guy in here. Um, let's pick up. Let's get a P 
P.J. Washington going? Let's get P.J. Washington 6.1K. And you know who's going to have a great game? LaMelo, 10.4K. He's going to have a great game. Halliburton. I like Halliburton. I like Halliburton. Let me... Uh, let me just pick up Halliburton. Once I get more value, then I'll I'll, I'll do something with Lamelo. But I do I do like um I do like Halliburton also. Um, all right, yeah. So let's go Halliburton. Let's go Bi Brandon Ingram. Let's go PJ Washington, Mark Williams, because they'll do what they want in the paint. And then let's do Valanciunas slash Jalen Duran as our double center. Throw him in the utility spot. I mean, look. If they want to fuck around and, and, and play Larry Nance over Valanciunas against AD, that's their fucking problem. But I'm going to assume they're going to want to win the game. Um, So like I said, I like Valanciunas and Jalen Duran. So it's up to you what you guys want to do. So that's five guys for DraftKings. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up. You guys have been killing it. Absolutely appreciate it. If you're struggling to cash, I can help you. I can send you my optimal lineups. I can build your own line. I can build you your own lineups. You check out the Patreon link in the description. You can DM me on, DM me on Twitter. Whatever you need to do, um, do. Let's go to Fanduel. I got five guys already picked out. Um, Okay, so we got Halliburton again at 8.9K. A little bit too cheap on FanDuel. SDA against Houston is a smash spot. 10.5K, fire him up. I'm uh, I'm taking a risk. RJ Barrett, but he's 6K and if he 6.1K, but and if he if he pays off his salary, then I'm golden. Um, pretty confident in PJ Washington and Mark Williams against the Spurs. Not really too worried about them. So with these five guys, not the only guy I'm really worried about is RJ Barrett, but um should be an up and down game against Atlanta. Should be a lot of scoring. So I like these transition games um for RJ Barrett. These fast paced games. So let's see what he does. Look. You're not always gonna get it right. You gotta take shots, you gotta take chances. And my gut tells me that he'll come through in this game. And guess what? I might get enough value later on and I might not even have RJ Barrett in my final main lineup. So who knows? But listen. I'm gonna go on and get out of here. Ten game, ten games up, ten games down. Appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Hope you guys had a profitable night, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Ciao.